new YouTube, this is Real Life Reviews. Today we're going to be discussing the Intex 3000 gallon 16 inch sand filter pump. Let's review it. In the beginning, let's get some of the standard statistics out of the way. So the system flow rate, that is the water that goes out of the pump into the pool, back through your skimmer and then back through your pump again. That's your entire system flow rate that comes in at 2460 an hour. Now the pump flow rate by itself, if you were just sucking water in and blowing water out, that's the pump flow rate and that is 3,000 gallons an hour. As far as I can tell, it is the largest pump rate that Intex offers in the 16 inch sand filter. So it does have the typical six way valve like all the rest of the Intex sand filter pumps. We're going to get into those different settings here in just a little bit. This one does come now with a digital 24 hour timer. You can set it up to run for 12 hours at a time. We're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. It does come with a 25 foot GFCI cord. It's ground fault current interceptor. In the case it was to become submerged in water, uh, it would not electrocute you or it's good for exterior wet conditions. So it does have a trip and reset on the box itself. Now this pump does come with two Intex hoses. They're standard Intex hoses, which means they're 38 millimeter or inch and a half. They will mount up to your best way, Intex Summerways or Coleman Pool, all in that same genre. Your typical above ground vinyl pool. These mate right up to them. How do you know this pump will perform for you? The minimum pool size is 5,600 gallons and the maximum pool size is 19,600 gallons. If you're like me and you have an 18 by 48, that's about 6,400 gallons at 90% capacity. So you know this pump is almost overkill, but it does have a lot of water movement out there and that's what I'm chasing. So let's go back and talk about the standard six way valve setting feature. The first setting is the filter setting. That's where your pump is gonna spend most of its life. Talked about that a little bit in a couple of weeks ago. Dirty water comes in, cleaned water goes out. That's during your filter setting. The next setting is going to be a backwash setting and what does it do? Backwash reverses the filter setting and it forces all of the dirty water up onto the top of the sand and then out of the drain. When do you need a backwash? Your first indicator of when you need a backwash is by looking at the pressure gauge. If it's out of the green and in the yellow, it's certainly time to backwash or if your pool becomes contaminated for any reason. So how do you backwash? You turn the device off, turn it to the backwash setting and then your back and then turn it back on and all of your backwash water which will be dirty is going to come out of your drain board you can drain that off to anywhere you want we like to drain ours uh, into the front and down the street and that's sometimes city ordinance wants you to drain directly into sewage and if your city requires you to do that you need to do such so the next setting is rinse when do you rinse anytime you backwash if you backwash for a good three or four minutes, then your sight glass on the side of that pump is gonna fill up. It's gonna fill up and eventually, it's gonna turn clear with sand in the bottom of the sight glass. So when do you rinse? At this point. As soon as you turn the rinse feature on, all of that sand will be sucked out and go through the drain in the same way you backwashed, except the valve is in a different position. And you're not backwashing through the sand anymore, you're rinsing out the valve. So you're getting all of that dirty, nasty sand and you are just, you're getting rid of it. The next setting on it is recirculate. And I've never used this setting before, but say you wanted to add dye to your pool uh, for St. Patrick's Day or whatever. Uh, uh, I don't know, you just want to change your pool water blue and you didn't want to filtrate that you would go to the recirculate setting and the water does not come in contact with the sand. I don't know why you would ever want to dye your pool, but some people do. The next setting is a drain setting. Very self-explanatory. If you're getting ready to take your pool down for the winter, you can drain it right out of here. It does not go through your sand. It's not a backwash, it's not a rinse. It goes from your dirty water directly to your drain. The final setting is the closed setting. You never use this unless you are shutting it down for the winter. You're either storing it or it's just unplugged. But remember, closed setting is just that. The valve is closed, water cannot come in or out. You must never turn a valve setting with the pump running. You must turn it off and then turn it back on. Sometimes you will do this several times. 
but the pump must be off in order for you to change direction of the valve settings. It would be catastrophic if you did it while the pump was running. So another feature we're going to talk about real quick is the new 24 hour digital timer it has. It has a digital face on the front of it and it's for 24 hours. You can set it up to run for like 12 hours. That's the maximum you can run these at. But it will turn on every day again at say 2 p.m. and shut off at whatever time you want to shut off. Uh, like I said, I have an 18 by 48, which is 6,400 gallons. I don't need to run this pump for 12 hours. That's just, it, it doesn't make sense. It, at the most, I'm gonna run this pump for six hours. I do have other pumps doing other things in the background, but when it comes to this pump and its features, six hours will do it. So another little feature I talked very early about was the aeration technology feature. It's not too technologically advanced. Basically, there's an inlet on your discharge valve that takes in air as water travels through. And so it sucks air in and when it goes through, it causes the water to become aerated by means of vacuum. It's not just that awesome that you could use it as a selling point. It's kind of like a spa-like uh, sensation, I guess, in the water because it's fizzy and feels like the water's a little carbonated. But for the manufacturer to boast that this is new technology is a lot like Coca-Cola dyeing their Dasani water bottles blue. They want you to think that water is ultra clear and crisp and blue like water should be, but, but most water I've ever seen is clear. But if you gave a child a crayon and said color water, I bet you they would grab a blue crayon. Continuing, installation is a breeze. I've done a lot of installations on these pumps. We're not gonna go too far into installation because this is a review video. But I will tell you, if you follow the directions, it'll take you step by step. And if you need the directions, I'm going to leave those in the description of this video as well. It's a PDF. It's a step-by-step -step process. Very simple. If you even want to print them out, you can do that as well. I just follow them step by step and you will not have a problem putting this pump together whatsoever. I, I think on average it takes me every year maybe 15 20 minutes and that is assembling everything and filling it up with sand speaking of sand this 16 inch sand filter holds 120 pounds of number 20 silica so not any sand will work you need to get it from either the pool store or i'm going to leave a link in the description where i got mine from and it needs to be specific for pool filters specifically number 20 silica the, most of that sand comes in 50 pound bags and you need 120 pounds so what that means is you're going to use two and a third bags of number 20 silica sand sand is ultra cheap and in this case it will last you up to five years so it's not like changing a paper cartridge out this is like at the end of your season spread it out on a tarp let it dry out put in a few five gallon buckets put a lid on it and you hold it to next year and it will last five years and that's pretty incredible and it saves a lot of money so for the review this particular pump is the highest rated selling pump in sand pool filters which means it typically gets anywhere from 4.8 to 5 stars. I'm going to give it an even 5 stars because I have three of these now. They've never given me a problem. The parts and components are pretty robust. You would have to go out of your way in order to tear it up. Now, there's not much technology. You just, some of the parts may wear down. The impeller that's running all this time, it's eventually going to give out and you'll have to replace it. So like any other appliance you have at your house, one that runs every single day uh, for hours at a time, eventually you're going to have components give out. But I can honestly sit here and say I've had my 12 inch now for three years. I've never had any problems with it whatsoever and don't anticipate problems. I haven't even had a problem with the impeller yet and that's generally the first thing that goes out on pool pumps. So I'm really excited about that and that's why I more or less kind of gravitate towards Intex products because they do a pretty good job at what they say they're going to do. Lastly, in a recap, maybe you don't want this much water movement and I can tell you for an 18 by 48, a 12 inch pump will do just the same. It's more than what you need really. And in the case that you can't find this pump, you can always get something in the market that's similar to it. 
I know I have never done the 10 inch, but we've had the uh, 112 and 216s, uh, 112 at 2160, 116 at 2160, and now this 16 at 3000, and I have all three of them in service at the same time, which is a completely different conversation. If you want to see that, go back a couple of weeks ago when I posted that video. And if you're interested in this pump or anything I covered, maybe showed you in this video, I'm going to leave the link in the description where I purchased them from. And pretty much that's what we do on this channel. If you like things like real life reviews and DIYs, things like that, go ahead and make yourself at home. Uh, subscribe to this channel for weekly content. Until next week, this is Real Life Reviews. Be well.